Hello everyone, Corey Shaw, Windish RV General Manager here to go over a Reflection 28BH fifth wheel uh, for the 2021 model year. I'm gonna start here with something that is as simple as adding a stabilization point down here. Um, you'll see a lot of the newer uh, steps that actually fold into here. One thing that we've seen that can be a situation with those steps is if you're storing them and you need to actually get into your trailer at the storage facility and you have another trailer that's roughly a foot away, you can't get those steps down. So reflection added the stabilization point and they still fold up underneath the trailer. As you move back here, you're gonna hit their outside kitchen, um, which gives you the two burner stove, outside refrigerator to be able to store those pops, uh, the adult beverages in them. Um, but pay attention to the size of these doors. You know, everybody likes a full-time camping unit. Well, Reflection can actually do that for you, but to use an inch thick door here, instead of the quarter inch thick, to make sure you're insulated inside these openings. All right, let's go on and take a look inside. Okay, so we just came inside this Reflection 28BH and we're looking at the control panel. The one thing I wanna point out about the control panel is you will see a QR code right inside the door here. What that is for is for the Compass Connect, um, which is the new app that Grand Design uh, does for the Reflection that allows you to do things like turn your lights on uh, from outside, both in and out. You can. Uh, run your slide outs in and out. You can run your awning in and out. You can also control your leveling system. Another big part to this app though is that it can send diagnostics to you. So it can say basically, you're having a problem with your leveling system. Here's what you need to look at. Um, so a big advantage that they've added to uh, the Grand Design uh, Reflection. Okay, now we're in the living area of the Reflection 28BH. A couple things I wanna point out from here. Obviously you have a TV, it's on a swivel arm up top here. You've got an electric fireplace that runs 5,000 BTUs worth of heat that comes out of it. It only works if you're plugged into a campground or you have a generator uh, that's powering the trailer. As you move this direction, you're going to have obviously the uh, rollover sofa system here, which this will seat to and it will sleep to if you like one another. You have your dinette. So this dinette should be able to seat uh, everyone around it. Okay, now we're in the kitchen. First off, I wanna point out the 12 cubic foot refrigerator here that runs both off of propane or off of 110 power. We here in the mountain country, we like to have our refrigerators run off of both fuel sources um, because we do a lot of off the grid camping. So you can run this not being plugged in off of propane to cool your refrigerator. Okay, as we move this direction, you're going to see Grand Design uses a farm style sink here that's all stainless steel, just like what you would have at home. Residential faucets up here, three burner stove, one of the largest ovens in a mid profile fifth wheel you can get, residential microwave up top here. Then one thing that we hear a lot about in bunkhouses is that there's not enough countertop space. Well, if you take a look, you start here and you wrap all the way around down here. So when you're prepping that food to take outside to sit at the picnic table, you can set your vegetable tray here. You can set the hot dog tray here before you go out, but it gives you that ample countertop space. The other thing that they do with this floor plan are these three huge windows here that allows you to see what the kids are doing outside when they're out there playing in the mud and the dirt. Okay, now we're looking inside the bathroom on this 28BH Reflection. One of the biggest things that they've changed is that they actually put a larger sink inside here instead of the airplane style sink that they used to have. You also have the foot flush toilet like you always have, but they also added an additional storage cabinet above the toilet seat here to fit more towels, rags, those types of things. Okay, now we're in the bunkhouse. As you can see, it has a pocket door to give the kids the privacy and also the adults the privacy at night uh, when everybody goes to bed. This bunkhouse will actually sleep up to four. You have huge storage. You have four drawers over here on the ball bearing glides. You have two big storage areas over here underneath this bed. But one thing that the manufacturers don't always think about is how do the kids get to the umper bunk? Grand design ended up on the reflection building it into the cabinetry so the kids can actually climb up into the bed. Other things that you're gonna be able to notice back here is they use the dark out shades across the entire trailer. 
So when the kids go to bed back here, turn off the lights and it's actually dark back here. Okay, now we're in mom and dad's room. It's a queen 60 by 80 bed, but there's room on both sides of the bed to be able to walk all the way up here. I'm not the tallest, I'm five foot nine, uh, but I can still stand completely straight up before I hit my head uh, down below. Some models you can't do that on. The wardrobe slide on this one has two hanger storage spaces and then has four drawers that are full extension drawers on ball bearing glides. The other thing that you wanna see on this particular floor plan is the fact that they have two windows up here and they are, uh, they have the blackout shades on to make sure when you're sleeping up here, it's actually dark at night. You do also, one more thing, have storage underneath the bed for the odds and ends that we can't fit in every day. Okay, so that's a Reflection 28DH. We went over a number of new items within the trailer, things like the Compass Connect, uh, the stabilization bars on the steps that they added this year. Um, one thing that I didn't get to go over was the new AC system that actually has a dampener on it to make sure that it's not as loud inside the trailer. Brand Design is always looking for improvements. They get that from you, the customer um, that's out there for things that they can uh, be able to improve on their trailer. Um, talk to our Lakewood, our Longmont store on the reflection line. You can call, you can text, you can email. We look forward to talking to you all. And again, we hope to talk to you real soon.